Our next graduation story takes place in the happy, pot-filled hills of Colorado. Have you heard this story about the valedictorian of a Colorado high school being barred from delivering his graduation speech because in that speech he planned to reveal that he was gay? He was barred because he was going to say he was gay? What's going on, graduation? You, you can't shout out? You can't come out? Seriously. <laughs> Next thing you know, they're, they're gonna want you to wear pants under those robes. <laughs> Larry said when speaking about a friend. <laughs> Okay, fine, so douchey principal would let this valedictorian come out of the closet in the speech, but, but why was he barred from speaking? I made all the edits if they asked me to. I just refused to take out the part where I say that I'm gay because I thought that was the most important part of the speech. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Good for you. Okay, so, uh... He was gonna come out in front of the whole school, right? So, so what happened? How did Evan end up telling his parents that he was gay? It was Mr. Bachman who called Evan's dad to tell him he wasn't going to allow his son's speech. And it was also Mr. Bachman who told Evan's parents their son is gay. What? Mr. Bachman, the principal? He outed Evan to his parents? How'd that call go? Uh, hey, Mr. Young, yeah, just wanted to let you know the PTA meeting got pushed back to eight. Oh, and your son's gay. Gotta run. A principal's job is to open up life's opportunities, not to take away one of life's biggest moments. Well, you know, it's a shame that this kid couldn't make his speech, a speech about tolerance and acceptance. It'd be really great to hear it, which is why I flew him out here. Please welcome reading his Battle of the Third Speech, Evan Young, everybody. And congratulations on being so brave and taking a stand. We're all so proud of you. Right? Here's what we're gonna do. It's great. We're gonna have you give a, a, kind of an abridged version of your speech, because, I mean, we're on television. We can't do the whole speech, okay? <laughs> but it's the speech you're gonna give at your graduation, and, uh, and we're going to throw the whole speech on the web. So if any of you want to see the whole speech, you can see it there, okay? Now, Evan, this is, this is the speech that you wrote. These are your exact words, right? That's right. Okay, great. Okay, Evan Young, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> In the words of one of my heroes, Stephen Colbert, dreams well, can... Uh, <laughs> did you just say Stephen Colbert? Um, you wrote that? Come on, man. Well, yeah, that's what's in the text of my speech. I don't care. You can't say that crap on this show, man. <laughs> Seriously, who bought you a round-trip ticket with just one layover? <laughs> You did, I guess. Exactly, I did. Continue. Okay. In the words of one of my heroes, Larry Wilmore. That's a valedictorian, y'all. That's a valedictorian. Okay, now let's hear the part you refuse to change. Go ahead, I won't go. All right. <clears throat> so since we're never gonna see each other again, I thought I should share several of my deepest and darkest secrets. First, I dislike doing homework. Now, not all homework is bad. Sometimes it's helpful. But like the Heimlich Maneuver, you're only supposed to do it when it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> Otherwise, you're just gonna make children throw up for no reason. <laughs> Miss Gilmore, I only read about halfway through Crime and Punishment before switching to spark notes for the remainder of the book. <laughs> and my biggest secret of all, I'm gay. I understand this might be offensive to some people, but it's who I am. When I was writing this... <laughs> When I was writing this speech, I was endlessly debating with myself whether I should reveal this on account of how divisive an issue this is and how gay people tend to be stereotyped. And I thought that if I did, I should repeatedly apologize and beg you guys not to think any differently of me. But then I realized I don't have to. I shouldn't have to. If there's one thing I learned at this school, it's how we can still be friends, even if we profoundly disagree with each other. So I have one final request for you. Hug someone. That's right, hug someone. Students, hug a teacher. Democrats, hug a Republican. <laughs> People who own a gun, hug one of those darn liberals who wants to snatch it out of your cold, dead fingers. <laughs> Trekkies, hug someone who likes Star Wars more. Mel, Ga 
Mel Gibson, hug a Jewish person. <laughs> Conservative Christians, hug an agnostic. Hug a gay person while you're at it, too. Actually, please don't, because I don't want to have to hug everyone here, but you get the point. <laughs> and finally, we're at the part you've all been waiting for, the end of the speech. Goodbye, everyone. I'll miss you. And whatever happens to us, and wherever we go, my only hope is that we'll meet again. Don't know where, don't know when. Evan Young, everybody! Yeah.